Hello everyone, the Anthony S. You are alone. I want to talk to you today about something that's actually happening right at this very moment. And I've been asked a couple times and I've tried to explain it and I'm going to try to do it now. We'll see how it goes. The, the art of either scheduling exactly your day or not. And the reason why I bring this up is because a lot of people schedule out their day and then forget what the actual goal is. So they, for example, someone might say, okay, I'm going to email for two hours from here to here, or make calls, or do this, or do that. That's good for certain things, like working out, maybe like trying to plan for how long it'll take to get somewhere, doing some travel. That's good, but then you kind of lose track of why you're actually doing th those activities, and then you just become victim to your schedule. Like You're not actually getting clients, or helping people, or giving giving it's a function now of you're just living by a set time that you have to be at here or there that becomes a job essentially and sometimes i get the a question okay then what are you what are you doing why don't you really have that deep of a schedule especially people i have missed events i have missed certain things over time but for the most part, I'm thinking about like 96%, 97%. I, I'm on time nowadays or within about five minutes of the start. You know, traffic sometimes gets in the way. Sometimes I go over with the meetings. You know, sometimes I didn't plan for something to take as long as it does. But overall, I get it done and I'm usually on schedule. And part of it is the moment right here where I am getting this podcast done before I'm taking out something to go out in the mail from an eBay sale. And the reason why it's easy for me just to kind of get a lot more done day to day now is because instead of saying, okay, I'll take this out to the mail and I'll come back and then I'll do the podcast, I can get this podcast done here while I'm here and then also, you know, write a, a, a deal out that I need to send to someone else and take the, the post at the same time. And it's a function of I make it one flow instead of making it separate actions. So if you think about the list you have to do today and you do if you have to write down lists that's fine. I've I've there's people that say don't do that, you know, you'll lose presence, you'll be thinking about the future and the past too much, all these different things. I okay. I, I see where they're coming from for sure and that's how I live, but I'm not gonna say that that's for everyone. If you gotta write a list down every morning what you gotta do, just make that happen, get that done. But now as you go through that list Think about how to do it in a function that it'll, that they will work together as one flow, one process. Say if you want to go out to lunch at some point, or you're going to go shopping or something, think about the other tasks you have to do. Maybe you have to drop off a check. Maybe you've got to go visit someone. Maybe you have a client around the shopping center. A function of just thinking about the what you're doing and then just getting things done. Don't make an excuse to not get some done while it's convenient simply for your schedule, to be honest. That's kind of how I might say it. So many individuals will not get the podcast done, not write the the email out or something because, uh, oh, I want to get this done first. I want to get it out of the way. That's kind of egotistical or prideful. Like you, you just want to say you got that done. When if you got all three of those things done in a, in a fraction of the time, that would leave all, a bunch more space to put more of those tasks in. So when people try to figure out why they're not getting a lot of of their list lists completed at the end of the day, it's because it, it's too linear. And I liken it to almost a bartender where they're taking two or three orders, they're making drinks, someone's talking to them, asking them the questions about one of the specialties all at the same time and as I go through my bartending experience a function of being able to take in five six seven eight drink orders while answering questions and talking still having to memorize where they sit what the orders were not making mistakes maybe there's a server coming up asking me a question about something at the same time uh, I don't write down orders anymore I try to I'm doing a lot more um, just learning how to be present in the moment and listening deeper so then actually retain the info overall it just makes i get more done per second per minute i can tell when i'm not doing well in a day when i'm just not really feeling it because it'll take me longer to do tasks and i'll have to do them more one at a time 
that just causes problems in the long run in terms of getting more completed per day. So like the I guess the big advice and what I work on daily, you know, what my intuition says that would help a lot of people is if you whether you write a list or not, think about the overall amount of things you have to do in the day and try to figure out if you can get three or four done in the same time. And not so much of like stress yourself out like task, task, task. If you can prep a few things, so then like completing them is a unit of completion and that they all work together. So now I'm going to be done at you know 1 o'clock with the stuff that I had to get done. That might have taken me until 1.30 because I come back here and stopping and starting and stopping and starting. I'm going to be completed with all three of these. I might be able to go get lunch. I might be able to just, uh, do another piece of content, put out a video for the Facebook videos I'm going to do in the future and like a little preface of what the quality is going to be like. There's a lot more that I'm going to be able to do in the next couple of hours that I wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. And I, I give that to the success, success of being able to do a – uh, uh, not so much multitasking because we really can't do that, but a function of efficiently tackling multiple tasks at the same time. This is the Anthony S. You aren't alone. If you want to talk about it more and go a little more in-depth on what you got to do daily, I'm happy to do that. Just reach out and, and, at the Anthony S. on anything with two E's. The two E's, Anthony S. I'll talk to you all soon.